We are just on the north side of the Lower Town neighborhood. You've probably seen some of the signs start to come up and Broadway's actually open. And I'm excited to introduce you to the person that's been helping with some progress here in the neighborhood. Who am I here with? Hey, Bucky, I'm Benjamin Zastro, the president of the Lower Town Neighborhood Association. Happy to be here today. And Benjamin, when did you officially move to the neighborhood? So it's been about three years. It was right in the thick of the pandemic. So it's been a wild ride, but the neighborhood is coming alive and I, I couldn't be happier. Let's go through and share some of the things you're seeing that just, one, you really enjoy as far as the neighborhood, and two, who we might be able to get to meet today. So we have nearly 100 small businesses up and down uh, Broadway here, as well as some on 7th Street. There's a lot of wonderful things here. We've got coffee, uh, ice cream in the summer, so many things to do. You can eat, you can shop. So we're gonna meet a few of those people today. And we're standing right by the brick apartments. There's been a lot of apartment development going on up and down North Broadway as well. That's right, so Brick right here is about to open. They're, they're leasing right now. There's gonna be 180 units up from second floor through the sixth, as well as some retail down on the first level. All right, let's go meet some of these business owners. I'm excited to see who you have uh, to introduce us to. Excellent, cheers. We're at a staple in Rochester. Where are we at? We're right here at the North Star Bar. It's a fantastic place to go grab a drink, shoot some pool, shoot some darts, or see a show. And the owner shared with us, there's some shows coming up here in March. So I'll go through all four of them. We have Chubbs, a Rochester band, March 3rd. Time Machine, March 4th. Flash Mob, March 10th. And Next to Nothing, March 11th. That's right, we've got a bunch of local bands to come through here or from the cities. Plenty of shows to go see. Let's play some pool. All right. Ben, I've been driving up and down Broadway, and one, besides it being open, right? there's a new sign. What is this new sign that you see on Broadway? Well, we're here in Tulips and Truffles, and we are thrilled to welcome them to the neighborhood. Tulips and Truffles, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit more about the business. Well, Tulips and Truffles has been here and there in the area for many years, probably about seven years. I started in Pine Island and then brought the business to Rochester, sharing space with Scrub Your Butt Soap Company until they recently closed. And then in a new venture with Crown Incentives, we have come to the block. So we are here on the uh, Kismet block and in a new neighborhood and happy to be here. And let's talk a little bit about the many products that people can find in here. There's so many options, Minnesota made options. Just give us a snippet, kind of dangle that carrot so someone has to come in and see everything that you have to offer. Over the years, I have absolutely found that Rochester loves to support local. And local for us is Rochester, West Concord, Outer Minnesota, the Iron Range. We have something from all the areas of Minnesota here. And we have soaps, we have bath bombs, we have uh, essential oils, we have jewelry, just everything you can think of to buy local. And there's uh, something that I probably shouldn't have this early in the morning, but uh, it's in a case over here, it looks delicious. I might have to have one, what are they? Another Minnesota company, Just Truffles from St. Paul, uh, brings us their fresh made truffles in lots of flavors. And I have to say, lemon cheesecake has really been the hot one. So uh, there are many to choose from. We do rotate flavors out now and then. And we have other brands in the plans to bring as kind of a passport to the truffle world. Are you thinking chocolate for breakfast? I am. All right, <laughs> let's go take a look and see what you have to offer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's another business in here, Bucky, uh, Crown Incentives, and we're here with John. John, tell us about Crown Incentives. Uh, Crown Incentives has been in Rochester for about 10 years, uh, predominantly working with the Mayo Clinic. Uh, it was being run out of Medical Innovations, and uh, when we decided to do Tulips and Truffles down here, we decided to uh, move Crown Incentives from our Medical Innovations store basically to here. So what we're trying to do is trying to fill the space for companies and individuals that want to have awards, trophies, plaques, etc. in Rochester. Since some of the other companies have closed in the past uh, year or two, we wanted to open up that space. So come down, grab some truffles, grab some flowers, 
and then come and see us at Crown Incentives and you can get trophies, awards, plaques, anything that you need lasered. We have a laser in the back and uh, we'll get you taken care of. We're going to get ready for a show at a place that is special to Rochester, special to Lower Town. Where are we at and who am I here with? Hi, I'm Philip Muey. I'm the Managing Director of the Rochester Repertory Theatre. And Ben, just share some of the recent shows you've come to. What do you really enjoy about the Repertory Theatre? You know, I love all of it and the magic for me is I'm a block away so I can walk here and see a show uh, and they do such wonderful things with such a small cast so you don't need a huge Broadway crew to really impress and to, to deliver a wonderful evening. So I've had so much fun, probably gone to about five or six shows already. It's always a good time. And Philip, I think you should share, for those that haven't drove by, haven't been to a show, what are some of the exciting things happening and what have you done to the building? Yeah, so we've we've been here since 1984, not in this physical building. We came in here in 2006, but this used to be an old school. It used to be like a plumbing supply store. It used to be all kinds of stuff, and now it's a theater. Um, and we have been doing all kinds of renovations. We raised money and got our HVAC system installed, so audiences can enjoy <laughs> the shows and heating and cooling um, and we produce a seven six show season every year um, we, en we enlist the talents of over 300 volunteers every single season wow. uh, so right now currently we're getting ready to do master class which is a drama about maria callas it's a comedic play um, about a master class with one of the greatest opera stars of all time and then after that we're doing the rock musical spring awakening so the rep really has been come to be known for shows that are small but mighty and we're kind of the the more edgy offerings in town, but still offering really high quality experiences for our patrons. I love the new mural on the side of the building. Yes. How did that come to be? <laughs> uh, Simon Hulsbeck, who's an instructor at RCTC, uh, received a grant from the Minnesota State Arts Board. So we're really, really, really glad that he got to do that and we're grateful for his talents. He did that over this past summer. It's exciting. If you have not been to a show, how can people go and get tickets? How can they find out more of an upcoming show? You can visit our website at rochesterrep.org. It has everything you'll need there. Also give us a follow on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everything you need should be right there. There you go. You coming to the next show, Ben? Absolutely. All right. See you here. Ben, directly across the street from the rep, there used to be some buildings. They're now gone. What is it making room for? Yeah, so we're expecting 112 units going up from Silver Lake Crossing. Uh, it should be in about the next year. We're really excited for that as well. The Stencil Group out of South Dakota has done several projects around town, including Flats on 4, some on West Circle Drive. So this will be their newest project. And just be besides this one, not too far away, there's another one. That's right, so we have Benai on Broadway, another 27 units. Those are gonna be higher end condo units. We're really looking forward to that as well. Should be open this spring. So you look at all the existing businesses, you look at all this growth coming for residential. What's your overall feeling of the Lower Town neighborhood? I couldn't be more optimistic, Bucky. We have so many good things going on, so many good staple businesses already here, and a ton more moving in. There's just a, a palpable energy right now in the neighborhood that I look forward to watching uh, things grow organically. If people want to find out more about the neighborhood, about the association, if they're interested in finding out where homes might be, where can they go? If you want to plug into the association, check out LowerTownRochester.org. We're on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thank you so much for taking us around. I feel like we just scratched the surface of many businesses that you guys have within this neighborhood. So be sure to reach out to Lower Town Neighborhood, connect with Ben and other, other neighborhood members and you'll find out more.